Hey guys, Stringa here and welcome to another video. So today we're going to cover my pet choices for PvP. Now this one is by request. Just disclaimer guys, I am no gladiator. Whatever I share with you guys, it's just what works for me. Let's get into it. So as a hunter, you should always have at least three pets with you. You see here I have four with me. And each of them provides something different for me. We will start with Poto. He is a rodent type and he falls under uh, cunning. And as a cunning pet, he provides me with Master's Call, which you see here. It removes roots and movement impairing effects. And he gives me a little bit of a uh, movement bonus as well. But what's most important about him is Master's Call. Now, I like to use him when I'm facing uh, Frost Mages or um, Sub Rogues who are great at control. Or with rogues in general. But what's more special about this guy is what he provides other than Master's Call. Which is Mortal Wounds. Now you will see this pattern throughout this video. This ability is fantastic. And as hunters we should have at least one pet with this ability. Now this reduces healing by 25%. Now, um, the higher MMR you go, the better people you'll face, and you'll see um, a lot of my matches at my current rating go uh, deep into dampening. And after the healer starts uh, going low on mana, and they start going after having to scramble to heal, and we're so far into dampening, and this debuff is on my target, after a while, no matter how much healing they do, it's not effective. It's a definite must. So again, for mages, especially frost mages, that are constantly uh, novoing you, and for rogues who like to control, uh, I definitely want to go this pet right here. The next pet is the uh, stag. The stags fall under uh, tenacity, a tank, and they provide us with a little bit of this here. Gives us endurance training, which gives us 5% uh, extra um, health. Which is pretty good. And uh, there's uh, damage reduction armor from all sources, which is absolutely brilliant. It's um, it's, it's got a very long cooldown for what it does. I, I'm not sure why. Blizzard put a three minute cooldown on it. It's up for six seconds. And it only reduces our damage by 20%. Three minute cooldown is ridiculous. The main reason I use stags is for this ability here. Nature's Grace. Nature's Grace removes one Enrage effect and one Magic effect from your target. Every time I'm facing a Paladin, be it a Healer or a DPS, automatically go with a Stag Pet. Uh, sometimes uh, Mages, it depends if it's, uh, if it's a Fire Mage. Sometimes a Frost Mage, uh, not in an Arena though. Um, maybe a Duel or an BG but most definitely those paladins. You have to be able to cleanse hand of protection. And the stags will definitely provide that for you. There is another pet that falls under a different family that has nature's grace, but uh, I just like to go with stags. This, uh, guys, I, I need you to go out and test this on different classes. Um, I know for sure you can uh, cleanse paladins, hand of protection. You can cleanse... Um, Temporal shield, you can cleanse um, warlocks uh, shields and buffs. You can cleanse um, warriors and rage effects. Um, there's so many more. I'm not I'm not 100% on all of them, but you guys have to go out and test it. This is a definite must against any kind of paladins. Now our next pet, which is quickly becoming one of my favorites, is the hippo or the river beast, if you want to call it that. Now, I, I like this guy because uh, he falls under Tenacity, which is tank. So we do get uh, the extra health from Endurance Training. And the armor, which is brilliant. But most importantly, we still get uh, Mortal Wounds. 
Now this guy, uh, I like to use him um, when I feel like I need a little more help, a little extra HP, a little extra armor. I definitely go with him. So against uh, warriors, arms warriors who hit so hard, against demon hunters, um, sometimes assassination rogues, uh, monks, and an arena, this could mean a win or a lose for you. And I know for me, it's come in handy so many times. You know, against a warrior DPS where the warrior's playing so well, and we're deep into dampening, and uh, my healer's ooming, his healer's ooming, but, uh, you know, I'm putting some pressure on him, and after a while, the healing he's receiving is just non existent. And D stance or not, he's going to die because uh, grieve, uh, mortal wounds is on him, and he's not healing. And last, this is not really a PvP, but this is something as a hunter we actually bring to groups. This one is a uh, wasp, which falls under uh, ferocity, and it gives you a 10% leech, which you see here, and you also get Primal Rage, which is a uh, hero. Now, uh, I like to use this one in um, dungeons, especially when we don't have a, a Shaman, you bring hero to the group, which is pretty cool for us. So guys, this is really it for me. Um, I hope this gives you guys an idea of uh, my mindset uh, for PvP. I hope this gives you guys um, a little help going into your next duel or arena. Um, again, guys, you should have at least three types of pets with you at all times. And for me, it's always a stag. For that uh, nature's grace, got to be able to cleanse. Um, I love the uh, hippo for the extra armor, the extra health. Most importantly, mortal wounds, and of course, I love the uh, rodent type um, for Master's Call. You know, you need a cunning pet for Master's Call, and one with mortal wounds is preferable. Um, that's it for the video, guys. Um, I hope it helped. If it does, remember to show the channel some love, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.